All right, I'm taking a look at the Asus Ycast. It's a uh, transmitter receiver combo that streams HD video wirelessly. So what I have here set up is a Canon uh, 7D and the HDMI is outputting over to the Asus um, transmitter here. The transmitter works uh, over the air, creates an ad hoc network to its own receiver. Um, right now I have it powered off this portable battery here, but it actually takes very little voltage. So uh, my plan is to make a battery for this and make it a truly uh, wireless solution. Um, and you see how small it is, and it's very lightweight. It's, it feels very hollow. So um, it, it, you know, this something like this you can mount easily to uh, the hot shoe of your camera and just stream video wirelessly to any monitor. Um, when those new electronic viewfinders come out with the HDMI pass through, then it would be perfect for somebody to use an electronic viewfinder while they're streaming video out to a monitor for someone else to uh, to look at. Anyway, so. This is the uh, transmitter right here, and again, it's powered off this battery right now, but uh, the idea is to make a small little battery for this. It connects over to, um, here, camera's shut off for a second here. And it connects over to this uh, wireless receiver, and you can see how small and lightweight this is as well. Um, it comes with an AC adapter, and uh, right now I have it plugged into this monitor here but this also takes very little voltage so the same battery that you're gonna make for the transmitter is probably gonna work for this receiver as well because they're the same voltage and amperage uh, and you know you see how small this is um, really lightweight so you can stick this to the back of any monitor if you're using a portable monitor with a battery you know this this is not gonna be uh, in the way so anyways um, there it is, uh, streaming. I don't have a card here, so this camera shuts off periodically because I'm not actually recording. Let's take a look at that. So as I move this camera around, oops, start the video again. So you can see it is streaming completely wirelessly and people have done reviews for this Asus and there's another one called the Bright Tech. Uh, both of them they said give you know pretty much exact same results both based on the same chip technology. Uh, the Asus I found was a smaller unit um, so I like that for this kind of you know setup. And so hopefully once I get the batteries done, I'll um, set everything up and you'll see a, a truly wireless HD solution. Now a lot of you are going to be comparing this to something like the uh, Teradek, which is um, uh, probably the first wireless HD solution that everybody is hyped up about. And that runs, you know, uh, a few thousand dollars. And there's a couple of reasons why Teradek um, would work better for some people. There's a lot of features in Teradek. Uh, compared to uh, the Asus here. This guy, all it does is just stream video. That's pretty much all it does. Uh, so Teradek's got a, a lot more features. Whether it's worth a couple more thousand dollars for you, um, you may want to check that out. Otherwise, if you just have plans on streaming HD video from your camera over to a remote monitor wirelessly, uh, something like the Asus here could work out. So as soon as I get some batteries done, um, I'll repost something, but uh, that's it. Asus Ycast.